Hello everybody, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Um, it's Thursday, it is ooh, 8.30. Um, I was supposed to release a video this morning or today, um, but construction kind of got in the way of that. Um, we had a lot going on today. Um, we had HVAC, which is uh, heating and air conditioning uh, here, and uh, they took over the entire basement. <laughs> So luckily I had nothing wet down here um, because I would have been in big trouble um, because they were all over the basement and they were doing all kinds of stuff. So I literally tucked everything away, um, covered it the best I could. So there was no way um, I was getting a video done today. So sorry about that. You had to wait one extra day for a video, but I'm sure you guys are okay with that. Um, let's see here. Uh, so busy, so many things on the go. I have a piece uh, I'll show you out in the sunlight. It is the um, black and white split with the rainbow colors. Um, that's finished. There's a bunch of pieces I did finish in top coat, but I have not had a chance to get them out in the sun to show you guys the beautiful finish um, with the exception of the um, black and white one. Um, if you are new watching my channel, welcome and thank you for joining me. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Uh, that way you're notified every time a new video is uploaded. Um, for those of you who are returning and already subscribed, welcome back. Um, so not much else to say. Don't forget crystal resin. You guys can save 5% off resin if you'd like to give it a go and try resin for the first time. Um, it ships to uh, Canada worldwide, uh, sorry, Canada wide, uh, free shipping. And then there's a standard flat rate for shipping in the US. Save 5% um, using code Canela5. And the resin is already on sale on the website. So not only are you getting it on sale, but you're also saving 5%. Don't forget Loli Vefi. So anyone who wants to buy Loli Vefi products, um, the squeeze bottles that I absolutely love and adore, the um, silicone mats under here, all the silicone molds. You guys know the drill. If you're long time watchers, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Save 10% off your Loli Vefi products using code CANELA10. Okay, so I think I'm going to get started. Uh, what I have here, actually I can show you really quick. It's just about dry. I had to make sure this was fully covered, but look at it um so there's a few wet spots but look at that i am so happy with the way this dried i cannot tell you how excited i am about this so this is on an 18 by 24 inch canvas and it is available for purchase for anyone who would like to purchase it um, and needs a coat of crystal resin you can email me at canela Seraco at gmail.com if you would like to buy that piece. I gotta just hit a button here. Sorry guys, there we go. So that's available for anyone who's interested, 18 by 24. So a lot of you guys said when I did that video, um, the design I did, you guys all loved the little triangle L shaped design. And a lot of you said it would be cool if I added a second piece and did like the same, you know, design, but the other way, because when you hang them vertically, it would look super cool. So guess what? That's what we're doing tonight. We are, or I am going to do that, but I'm going to do it using one of my most popular colors, the um, light blue violet or periwinkle as some call it by Liquitex Basics. If you have seen my periwinkle Dutch pours, um, I will link one at the top. I've done a few, but it was such a popular color. It was such a popular pour. I ended up doing five or six commissions um, with this color. So I figured, you know what? Why don't I do the same thing again? But this time add white color split with the periwinkle and the colors. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I think I am, I was going to do it off camera, but maybe I'll kind of do half of it and then do the other half um, 
on camera. That way you guys can see at least one canvas because doing two is going to take a long time. So I'm going to be right back. I'll flood one and then I'll flood the other on camera for you guys to see. So be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I know, I know, I said I was gonna flood one and show you guys the other, but you know what? I kind of got into a zone and I wasn't even thinking and before I knew it, I had already done both sides. So anywho, um, as I mentioned, 16 by 20 inch canvases. I made sure they were super level before I put the paint down. So make sure they are level. As I mentioned before, the base paint, is the um, Liquitex Basics Light Blue Violet mixed with Floetrol and water. Um, and that is how I mix all my paints, all colors, doesn't matter the brand, unless you're using Golden, that's a totally different story. Um, I mix them all the same way. And you can find that mixture and that recipe and that full tutorial video in video number 63. I will link it up at the top for you. Okay, so what I did, I had to like really think about this for a second because I was so confused. I'm clearly tired. So um, I've got the pattern going. So now we're going to do the colors. And I have Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. And then I have Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. I don't have space on my end of my table. Uh, then I have Sterling Silver by Deco Art. And then finally, Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. So those are the colors I'm going to use. And I've already obviously put the base color down. So I'm just going to torch my bubbles. And if you saw my last video, you would have seen that all three torches I had all ran out of butane. Uh, that was a little weird that they all ran out at the same time but I have refilled all of them. And this one is one powerful torch. That is a bunch of gunk right in there. Wow, that was a big piece of gunkaroo in there. Little floofster in here. So yeah, I had like um, no butane in any of them. So I thought that was stupendously funny. Uh, I'm just going to add a little bit because I have a feeling I mix this a little too thick. So, oh, she's running low. Okay. Um, let's start with uh, the greenish blue. So we'll do that first and then I'll work my way down. And I hope this turns out. See, I added that little bit of there's bubbles. Would you believe there's bubbles in that? Okay, now let's get started. Greenish blue. <laughs> it would help if I twist the cap open. Oh goodness, I shouldn't paint at night, but I don't have much of a choice anymore. I have to paint at night. I have to paint at night. I cannot paint during the day. Too much going on during the day. I also wanna, like, I like seeing what's going on. Ooh, so they put up the uh, three walls on the main floor and um i got it all on video and you guys are gonna laugh because the three of them there's three gentlemen and they try to uh lift the first wall which is the biggest wall and they could not do it at all um so they called in a friend who happened to be working on another house down the road and lucky for us he came and uh big dude very strong guy young strong guy and came and helped them lift up the wall. So I have that all on camera. So uh, I will release another reno vlog video soon, but uh, that will be all on the video. But, uh, and you'll see all three walls are up. I'm so excited. So now the thing is we're waiting for a big steel beam. Steel beam is gonna hold up the uh, second floor. And unfortunately that's a little delayed. So, Hopefully it's not delayed by too much. And we're back to uh, our schedule uh, next week. So we shall see. All right, there is a doggy hair. I can't even say a Juno hair anymore because I don't even know if it's Juno or Echo's hair. All right, let's pop these bubbles. All righty, and let's blow this out. 
I hope it works out. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna start the same way I did the other one and I'm gonna blow this way and I'm gonna really, 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 really hope, 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 hope that my um, light blue violet isn't um, too thick. It's so weird blowing this way though. Okay, so, so far so good. I'm gonna have to fix this. Lots of white kind of blew into here. So I'm gonna have to fix that. But other than that, I really love that side. So now let's move here and I'll start the same way. I'll start here in the middle and work my way out. See, so much easier this way. I don't have to actually go backwards. the rest this is pretty too but again I have the same pattern going on in here but the rest I'm gonna blow out with my mouth to fix any of the composition that needs to be fixed because if you use your hair dryer on the same spot more than once like you try and re-blow the same spot odds are you're gonna turn it into a muddy mess so you want to try and avoid that um, all right, so what I'm seeing here is there's a nice clump of white, white negative space here, but not so much over here. And that's a little bit of an issue for me. This is matching up quite nicely, but so is this, right? Um, so I'm going to try and push a little bit of that that way. And I might try and push a little bit of this blue upwards if I can. If I can't, it's not the end of the world, but. Keep in mind, it might just move down anyway as it's drying. I hope not because, you know, they are level, but you just never know, right? You can see, well, I can see underneath here, there's like a lot of dark blue. The uh, greenish blue is under there. All right, so now I'm going to just blow this out a bit. Okay, what else do I want to fix? I actually don't mind this white streak in here because it's adding the extra white that kind of got blown down too much here. And this I'm going to torch because I can see a lot of darker color under there. Um, I don't think I want to touch anything on this side. I actually quite like it just the way it is. And... I think I'm going to leave this one the way it is too. And then I go to blow. <laughs> I always do that. All right, I'm going to grab my other torch because it's not as powerful. And I'm just going to, uh, there's some air bubbles in my paint here and a flooster. Okay, so I'm going, oh, I look, they're already coming out on their own, but I'm gonna help them out a bit. Ooh, look at that, so pretty. I'm really happy with this piece. 
And I'm looking at it in the camera up there and I could just see it. It's so cool. And then I'm going to show it to you guys um, on in this composition because it looks super, super neat, actually. I'm really liking it. I wonder... I just want to get more white in here. You know what I mean? Without ruining this super duper rich hard line of purple. You can just do that. So that kind of brought it up a little bit too, which I really like. But overall, I'm really happy with this. I really like it. Okay, so let me see here. I'm tripping over cords. Um, I don't think there's anything else I want to touch. I'm not torching anything in any of this. So, nope. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys down for a close-up. Obviously, first with the studio lights on, and then I'm going to turn them off. And um, I'll show you guys the close-up. Oh, but I don't know. I wanted to show you guys. I totally forgot. Did anyone notice? Who noticed this the first, like, 10 minutes of the video? So, as a gift for my birthday... Um, I got to get a tattoo. My husband paid for it. Um, you guys all know I had Lucas and Sophia on my arm. Um, but of course, those of you who are longtime viewers and know my obsession with orchids, um, I went and, and I had an orchid done. So um, it had a protective film on it and I literally just peeled it off maybe an hour or two ago. So now I just need to put special cream. But what do you guys think? I love it. When my mom sees it, she's probably going to kill me, but... <laughs> She didn't, she doesn't like them, um, but whatever. Like when I got this one done, Lucas and Sophia, the first time she saw, she goes, what is that? And I'm like, ma, it's, it's a tattoo. It's going to come off, right? And I said, no, ma, it doesn't come off. She goes, are you kidding me? What do you mean that doesn't come off? And I'm like, no, ma, it doesn't come off. <laughs> so needless to say, she wasn't happy at first, but she got over it. Um, but this one, this one's a little bit bigger, but again, she'll get over it. Hey man, I'm a 40 year old, 41 year old woman. <laughs> I shouldn't be scared of my mommy. <laughs> Anywho, enough about that. Let's bring you guys down for a close up. All right guys, so here, let me show you guys the right way. Don't mind the, that's all the gunk from the tape that was on there protecting it, but I'm very happy with this. It's so pretty. I debated whether I should get color in it or not. Look, I cut myself. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave it like that. And if down the road, I want to put a little bit of shade, obviously blue, a blue, beautiful orchid, I'll think about it, but I love it. Okay. Enough about that <laughs> On to the piece. So here you go with, uh, the studio lights on and look how rich those colors are. And so a lot of people, or at least new, newer people have been asking me in the comments and they're saying, Oh, um, you know, you don't flood your colors with your base color. I stopped doing that um, a long time ago. So back in December, actually, um, I stopped doing that. And I stopped doing that because I find um, the colors are a lot more vibrant this way. And I really love the hard edge. Like some people don't like the hard edge. They prefer soft edge. Um, for me, I'm all about this really hard edge line uh, around my petals. And I really, really like that. So that's why I don't blow um, the base paint over my colored paints anymore. I prefer it this way. I love it this way. And it works for me this way. So there you have it. Um, with the studio lights on. It's so pretty. Oh, let me go. Let me change composition. Hold on. Oh, but the studio lights are so bright. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me move this one there. And I'll come over on this side. Sorry, taking you guys for a ride. All right, there we go. A little better. Look at that. See, I think this should be hung vertically like this. I think that looks super cool like this. Let me see if I can get it all in one frame. I got to back up. But that looks so neat. What do you guys think? So, you know, whoever buys it can hang it whichever way they want, but I really love the vertical composition. Okay, let me turn the studio lights off and uh, we'll check out the shimmer with the just regular lights. Be right back. All right, so here it is with the lights off, or the studio lights, and another angle of the composition on the other side of the table. So what do you guys think? 
let me know in the comments below. Uh, I really like this, but you can't really do this with small canvases. Um, and I even think these at 16 by 20 um, were a little tough. Uh, you definitely need something bigger. Um, maybe 20 by 20 or 24 by 24s. Those would be ideal because um, this was a little hard to blow or the 18 by 24 I did was actually pretty good too. But uh, nothing smaller than this. I think you would have a really hard time um, controlling the blowout. Look at that shimmer. Guys, the shimmer is so pretty. Now this looks like some kind of mythical creature. So we've got an eyeball, some kind of witchy type nose, maybe a, what is that, a gizzard from a chicken? Is that what they call those things? It's like half chicken, half, I don't know, something, something there, that's for sure. Um, anywho, but look at this. When this dries and of course gets crystal resin, it is going to be gorgeous. And there's, see that hard line. I love the hard lines. Love, love, love. So don't forget, um, I would love it if you guys would head on over to my son's channel, Lucas Siraco, and check out his videos and subscribe to his channel. He's only 10. Well, he'll be turning 10 on Sunday. Woohoo! Um, so he is trying really hard to keep up with his videos now that he's in school. He's in grade five, but uh, he's working really hard. And I would love it if you guys head on over and show him some support. Um, don't forget... Juno and Echo as well, their channels. But what I was going to say was, let me get my little stick here. Don't forget to scrape your bottom, the bottom of your canvases. I've said it in a few videos and I have to fix my edges. See that? No good. Absolutely no good. You see this? No good. So when I'm done my videos, I always spend about 10, 15 minutes um, fixing up, see, that is unacceptable. No, that's a big no-no in my book at least. But uh, I always say the sides are just as important as the top. I cannot stress that enough. So scrape the bottom because those little drips under there will continue to pull your paint from the top of your canvas and drag it down and it will ruin your composition. It'll just make the paint um, slide right off. So let me just moving this stuff here. So you see that? You see that? No good. If you leave that like that, it will dry like that, okay? You cannot leave it like that. So what you need to do, uh, hold on, let me grab my bottle and I'll show you guys. I never actually show you guys this, so I'm pretty sure some of you would wanna see this. So I'm going to show you and I'm going to do my best to hold the camera and do it at the same time with my other hand. But what you want to do is get yourself a squeeze bottle and what you want to do is just literally do that. Okay, so now I'm going to take my finger and just, I'm trying to, there we go, and just dab it. Do, 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 just like so. Okay, so this is what you wanna do. I know it's a little bit of extra paint, but you know what? Look at that. Now that'll dry smooth. I'll fix it when I'm not holding a camera in my hand, but, and then of course you wanna go across and scrape the drips off. Okay, super, super. I cannot tell you how important that is. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm going to fix my sides on all four sides and uh, then it'll be perfect because I like things to be perfect. So there you have it, guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really, really wanna know what you guys think in the comments below and let me know if you wanna see a specific color split that I haven't done yet, um, maybe give me some ideas and I'll try another one and uh, we'll go from there. So until then guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out all my links below. Um, if you shop on Amazon, 
Um, if you click on the Amazon links below and you, you don't have to buy art supplies, you can buy anything you want off Amazon, just your daily stuff, whatever it is you buy off Amazon. If you click on my link to get to Amazon, it actually helps me tremendously. So for those of you who shop on Amazon a lot, I would really appreciate it if you clicked on the Amazon link in the description below and, uh, shop away. And, um, for those of you who saw Sophia in my last video at the very end, I always say stay tuned to the very end because you never know what's going to be at the very end of the video. Um, so she was about two in those videos and she was singing like the itsy bitsy spider and stuff like that. So stay tuned for my videos and stay tuned to the end because you never know what little surprise might pop up. So, okay, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye. <laughs>